Hi guys. Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, first off, um, I really wanted to say we just crossed the 500 subscribers mark. Um, and we're so happy that uh, we're sharing the, our journey with people. Like it really makes us over the moon. Yeah. And so we have two weeks until we leave on the big trip. And this is our like our proper shakedown ride. We've got all the bikes. And... We're testing out all the gear. The bikes are finally sorted. So we're just going to see how everything holds up and put it to the test. We've got lovely weather. We're cycling to the seaside um, and we're going to take you along for the journey. We've got four days, uh, very chilled out. No, no stresses, no time. Well, mm -hmm. we've got four days. No distance limit. Um, no distance limit. Yeah, we're just going to see how everything holds up and make the most of this beautiful weather. And we're going to take you along for it. So it is morning of the final test run. It is. How are you feeling? Underprepared. Yeah. I think because we're having a bit of a debate about where we put everything. So we've got space. And what's the main issue? Where the trangy is going to go, I'd say. The Trangia, yeah, this is causing a headache. Bit of a nightmare, just loading up the bikes and I have noticed that my tyre is completely flat. literally four hours later and we are ready to go ready to go <laughs> how are the new bikes feeling Bubba? yeah good how does yours feel? feels good so these are almost exactly what we're going to take with us uh, in a few weeks time. For the last few months we've just been prepping the whole time, changing things up, like tweaking kit lists. We've tested bits of it out individually but this is the first like proper shakedown, first and last actually proper shakedown ride to see how it all goes. Um, so fingers crossed all goes okay. You are standing on the Roman road that was built almost 2,000 years ago it runs for 10 miles from Cambridge into Suffolk. That's crazy. It was built to link the Roman camps at God Manchester and at Cambridge to Colchester via the big camp at Great Chesterford. End of day one, we um, have uh, cycled not very far and it's been beautiful. It's been <laughs> sunny and uh, we're now in a campsite and we don't normally go to campsites. Um, and we've got a really nice last bit of sunset view. Yeah. Um, it just feels very, very relaxed, which I think is exactly what we need. What's for Brecky? Porridge with cinnamon, a bit of banana protein powder, seeds and sultanas. Nine o'clock and it's really hot. I think trying to get packed up in the heat um, when there's no shade and you're just trying to find the coolest option possible, but it's not really a, a cool option. So sweating already. <laughs> it's going to be a long hot day when it's really hot. This. We're on the old chalk way, which um, it's mostly meant to be off-road, but um, on tarmac at the moment. But on a nice day with a bit of a breeze, we've been freewheeling for so much of it and it's just amazing. Um, it's gonna take us through towards Fetford and then we're gonna be going towards the coastline. You got it. So what are our lunch stop requirements? So like the perfect lunch spot has shelter for slash shade depending on the weather requirements. Yeah, rain shelter or... Yeah. Somewhere that you can pee, 
a backrest and comfy, something comfy to sit on. And a nice view. Yeah, and a nice view. So here we have backrest, backrest shade, 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 somewhere to pee. Somewhere to pee. I mean, view could be worse. Room. Yeah. Good. Backrest. Peed. <laughs> now feed. Fucking <laughs> tasty. Mm. I'm covering the sundry fish. On the lookout for deer. Yeah. And the first one to spot one wins. And what surprise? Uh, I just took my sign for the other one. Oh, how long for? How long for? Yeah. Well, I probably took the sign. Yeah, but, I, but just what's the time limit? I don't know. Ten minutes? All right, okay. I'm going to keep my eye out. We've uh, finally got off road onto really thick, heavy sand, which we can't <laughs> cycle through. There's a pack of dogs next to us. Uh, really going for it. Go on. Uh, uh, okay. Once you get momentum. Uh, uh. I'm pretty thankful that we have left that sand and are on gravel. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's good to. Uh, Get the sweat going. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, we've not had much of that today, so. Follow this way for 110 yards. If you can see the sign, because this is super zoomed out, but it basically says you shall not pass. So now, we can just go take this left and the next right. Another detour, and each detour we make, it seems to get like thicker and thicker into like the. It is it a path? Isn't that far? Um, so I reckon we're just gonna have to take a big beeline. But it's all kind of grid, almost like American like cities. So I think we just have to cut across this way for a bit and then hopefully and then yeah. hope that the forestry work doesn't go on we are coming through the king's forest um it's just this big expanse of um forestry no real like development at all we, i think we saw one house which just in the middle of the woods which looked very cool that was just like a, a residential house um but it's just so peaceful so loads of deers, seen loads of birds of prey, saw an owl flying through the woodland. Um, very, very relaxing. And the trails are really great, they're just a little bit sandy, but um, it feels amazing just to be away from everything for like a prolonged period of the route. Two really big deer just over here. lots of deers near here there's loads of rabbits seem like birds of prey lots of like hunting bits for game birds it's a noise we have found out <laughs> the noise is a muntjac deer I don't know if you can hear it but it's there's, lo there's loads of them around they keep coming like quite close to here but you can hear up in the woodland behind us. Can I show you something I brought with me? Yes. Oh yes. I thought if we were at the seaside it would be fun. You are the master of essentials. <laughs> Good. Right, 
means good night from us too. Look, there's quite a few gunshots in the middle of the night um, and from the field which is not the same field we're on but like the next field over but it, it like definitely woke me up and um, for the rest of the night I was like dreaming of getting caught by hunters. Action stations I am on the hunt for firewood to get this twig stove going get the coffee brewing. I'm very aware that there's lots of hunting around here when we've heard all the gunshots and I don't want to act at all like a deer. Big bits, little bits. Now to find some kindling. The one man wants us to. Kind of makes you want to pee. <laughs> We're on the road, it's day three. It's gonna to get to uh, 33 degrees today. Um, so it's about 8 a.m. We're about to cross over a river, so hopefully we're gonna be able to the Bridwell Estate, which is trying to work out whose land we're camped on. <coughs> um, yeah, we're going over a river. We're both smelly and dirty. I definitely smell a lot worse than Sarah, so we're gonna try and wash in this river. We have found our swim spot. After this is the third day so after almost three days of cycling in the heat it's been really dusty and really sweaty feels so good just to be in the water like so good i really love that it's um it's 10 a.m we've already had a fire mm -hmm. we've had a good cycle we had a cycle and and, and we just had a swim and a good breakfast as and well. a continental breakfast That's a good morning <laughs> and now we want lunch <laughs> the first sign we've seen for the Fedders Way, um, also the busiest road we've had to cross. My back tyre has popped again. Live update, 10 minutes later. How's it going? Hey, it's going. What PSI are we on? Just entering 20. There's a lot of breeze coming through, so nice. That way. So it's six minutes until we're, <laughs> according to the Met Office, the hottest part of the day. And I was really optimistic after that swim, thinking, feeling refreshed, <laughs> cycling, feeling good. Now I'm definitely suffering. I just have to keep reapplying sun cream to my left arm because my left arm is in the sun. And I just keep lathering on back to 30, but it's still like burning. I've got like a bacon rasher for a forearm. We're both cycling in sandals and this tiny little track is just covered in singing nettles. <laughs> All I can hear from behind is Sarah going, ah, oh. my head and toes. <laughs> I think enough is enough. We will find a tarmac alternative. Right, so we started cycling at 8 a.m. Uh, it's now uh, nearly, it's past seven. Um, so it's almost a, almost a good, good 12 hours of cycling. Um, I've got a slow puncture, which I keep having to stop. 
and pump up um, and it's really hot so it's turned into quite a, a mega day cycling particularly because we've actually not been cycling too hard recently um, but we're nearly at our end stop for the day can I really just want a cold beer if I'm honest um, but yeah what a wild day it's turned into that was a really long day but so good and at points really hard <laughs> <laughs> just the whole almost the whole day just spent on these these like forestry forestry routes in the middle of nowhere and it just even at points where we're getting uh like smashed by um stinging nettles Sting and brambles <laughs> and um and like trudging through sand it was just awesome yeah it was it was amazing. just in the middle of nowhere it just felt i do wish there were a few less stinging nettles but it yeah. was it got was a big incredible. old like gash in my finger of the weeks of sunshine and three days of really hot cycling you got rain mm. how's it feel colder but it's quite refreshing yeah it's so refreshing really hot really hot really hot Whoa! Hi. Uh, thank you so much for watching and particularly thank you so much to all the new subscribers. Yes, thank you, um, thank you, thank you. We're so glad that you're here. Yeah. Found us. It's um, amazing to think that we can take you along long ride with us and it um, means a hell of a lot to us. Yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, this was a pretty awesome three day trip. Um, as always, things didn't turn out quite as planned, but that's the beauty of it, I guess. Yeah, nice to know that a lot of it went quite well, I'd say. Less to do when we get back to organise for the big trip that's coming up, so. In two weeks time. Yes. So, um, big, big trip, super big, excited. Big, trip. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna be cycling as far around the world as we can. For, as our legs will take us. Um, and we wanna take you along the journey with us. So, so stay tuned for all of those videos coming up. The next week, uh, the next video is going to be all about our packing list because mm -hmm. a lot of people mentioned about packing lists and like the bike setup. Yeah, so like everything that we're taking, sort of like the gear, the and this equipment, will be the how we're taking the final, it. Yeah. final stuff. After this ride, all the things that we've changed out and we're going to um, find out be the final things. And then... It'll be the bikes that are coming around the world with us. And then we'll be riding east. Mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you very much. If you're not subscribed, then we love it if you did. Yeah. Stay tuned for next video. Be happy. Happy rides. Happy riding. And um, yeah, exactly. catch you next time. <laughs> Bye.